Now ladies and gentlemen, finally the co-chairs Waipa leader Kanonzo Musyoka together with the majority leader of the National Assembly, Honorable Kimani Ichungwa himself, agreed on some of the negotiations during yesterday's dialogue meeting at the Bombers of Kenya. Out of a total of 10 raised issues, they successfully managed to sort out five of them, which was really, really awesome in my considered opinion. Even before that dialogue meeting had started, Kalonzo Musioka had posted this strong message on his Twitter account saying that change happens by listening and the starting of a dialogue with Kenyans ready to serve our beloved nation. That is what we are fostering at the Bombers of Kenya with Kimani Ichungwa. So from that statement, you can clearly tell that Kalonzo Musioka is determined, is putting more energy together with his diplomatic experience, putting away the sideshows to ensure that this dialogue meeting becomes successful. Like for example, they strike a deal on the future of the IEBC, whereby they both agreed that let the selection panel at the IEBC proceed with its work without any interference. Let me just uh, read for you this statement. It says that on the question of stopping the IEBC selection panel, we are not writing to them to stop from working. We are sending them a judicial notice of the ongoings of this national dialogue. So they have just decided to send them a judicial notice. That is the word that they used to term uh, that issue. So that the IEBC selection panel can understand that despite the fact that they are proceeding with their own, own work, also the issues on the IEBC sector are being discussed on this dialogue meeting. And I was reading at some of the reaction from the supporters and leaders of both sides, Azimio and the Kenya Kwanza Alliance. On the Kenya Kwanza Alliance supporters and leaders, they congratulated Kanozo Msioka and Kimani Chungwa on a very good move. Let me read for you an example of this tweet, which says that good strides by, made by Kimani Chungwa and Kanozo Musioka teams. National Dialogue Committee will put interest of Kenyans ahead of personal interest. As Mio Lomoja Alliance should drop egocentric demands like auditing of 2022 polls, which were free, fair, transparent, and verifiable. Raila Odinga lost. That is a tweet from one of the Kenya Kwanza Alliance strong leaders and the supporter. But on the other side of Azimio Lomoja Alliance, they feel like Kanozo Musioka is there on that dialogue meeting to betray Raila Odinga, which of course can be true. You cannot deny that fact. Anything or betrayal in Kenya's politics is very much normal. But the main question here is, what makes them think that way? That is what we are going to look at it in this video. So welcome to my YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. But if you are here for the first time, or maybe you are currently watching, yet you haven't subscribed, I'm just requesting you to please take a second or two and click to that subscribe button. You can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this video and this entire platform to reach out to a broad audience. To my returning subscribers also who are currently watching, I want to take this opportunity to really appreciate you for your continued support. The truth of the matter is that without your support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. And that is why I don't take the support for granted. And if you want also to be automatically receiving the notifications, updates from YouTube itself, immediately I post a video on this channel. Just press the notification bell. Now let us go straight into the critical analysis for today. Why do you think that Azimio feel betrayed by Kanonzo Musioka? First of all, is on the IEBC issue, whereby they strike that deal. You know, on the issue of the IEBC, Reno Denga has consistently maintained that 
there must be a reconstitution of the IEBC. Why? Simply because the IEBC selection panel, seven member panel, was appointed by President William Bruto previously so that they can work out on the appointment of the IEBC chairman and other commissioners. But here is a situation whereby Raila Odinga does not trust William Ruto. He thinks that William Ruto has his own personal political interest in the IEBC ahead of the 2022 general election. And that is why Raila Odinga wanted that selection panel to be put aside and come up with another panel, a new uh, seven-member panel, which is selected by both sides, Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa, so that it can be free and fair. Of which, in my considered opinion, if that is what Raila Odinga wants and he will be satisfied with that, let him be given his demands. Because I strongly believe, and William Ruto has maintained this since before, that he does not have any problem with the IEBC, even if Raila Odinga will put or will appoint his brother Oburu Odinga to become the chairman of the IEBC because he understands very well that the, 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 the results of any political contest is not being determined by the IEBC, is not being determined by the government, is not being determined by the deep state. It is being determined by the people of the Republic of Kenya. These are the bosses, the common wananchi. So, Raila Odinga has always insisted on the constitution of the IEBC, but Kanozo Musioka yesterday agreed that let the IEBC seven member selection panel proceed with its work. And that is why majority of Azimio supporters and leaders feel like Kanozo Musioka is slowly betraying Raila Odinga. Secondly, they are accusing Kanozo Musioka of sabotaging and obstructing Raila Odinga's timeline. From that long period of time since this dialogue meeting started, they have just agreed on only five issues, one of them being uh, the IABC issue. But remember that Raila Odinga had issued a timeline whereby if that timeline will come to an end, yet they have not agreed on the key points or that dialogue meeting fails, he is very much ready to go back to the streets to demonstrate. Just listen to this speech by Raila Odinga before we proceed. But Kanuzo Musioka has taken much more time together with the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. So according to them, Kanuzo Musioka and Kenya Kwanzaa are buying time. And remember that they agreed during that dialogue meeting that even that limited timeline that Raila Odinga had issued, if it elapses, that will not stop them from discussing more and more issues that will be raised. Because they have a lot of issues, like for example, the next dialogue meeting will happen on Friday, I think next week, if I'm not wrong, I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong on that. So they are taking much more longer. That is what the Mio Lomoja Alliance are accusing Kalonu Mesioka of. And finally, there are some issues which should have been uh, discussed on the forefront. Issues like the cost of living, issues like the police brutality, and the IEBC service opening of the service. So they thought that Kalonzo Musioka will begin with these issues to put on the forefront, like for example, on the issue of the high cost of living. That is why majority of Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters were demonstrating for the cost of living to be lowered. But that has not been sorted out. On the issue of the police brutality, Raila Odinga was demanding that the police officers who uh, 
participated of the police brutality during the previous demonstrations must be held accountable. But none of that has been sorted out. On the issue of the opening of IABC servers to prove that Raila Odinga actually knows the previous election, that has not been sorted out. That is why I feel like Kalonzo Musioka is there to betray Raila Odinga. But here is the issue as I conclude. The Azmiel Omoja Alliance supporters and leaders must know, must understand that there were some agreements that were made between Kalonzo and Kimani Choko to put all the side shows aside and they remain focused on this dialogue meeting. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. If you are an Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporter, let me know your views on the comment section below. Do you think that Kalonzo Musioka is betraying Ray Rodinga? What's your opinion on the issue of the IEBC selection panel? Do you agree with Kalonzo Musioka and Kimani Ichungwa deal? If you are an Kenya Kwanza Alliance supporter, let me know your comment or your views on the comment section below. What can you say? about all these issues to support the dialogue meeting to proceed. What's your opinion? Is it a waste of time? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.